Hello friends, today we'll discuss bootstrap sample technique. Uh, that is very uh, simple technique and it is used mostly in social sciences when we are having limited number of samples. Generally, uh, when you find that our sample size is less than 30, we could use this because after less than 30, if our sample size is more than 30, we could simply invoke CLT and whatever we find is right. Uh, first of all, we need to know uh, what is bootstrap actually so and why we do and why do we use this so first thing it simply help us to find the sampling distribution of sample means without invoking CLT assumption or we say the sample mean are following normal distribution uh, and second thing this technique will help us estimate main thing is standard errors of the sample means Mm, that is determined by where when we take suppose I say 10,000 resamples from the existing samples that situation this repetitive sampling is giving us k number of sample means uh, and when this data is plotted I find distribution and the error I'm getting of that distribution is my standard error now uh, the question here the, what number of what should the actual number of k that should be sufficient enough so here as per the empirically the th rule of thumb is it should be uh, at least n by n mm, like suppose I ha uh, in my sample I have 10 observation then it should be 10 by 10 mm, means 100 observation uh, at least 100 resamplings I should do and I could do it further like 100, 1000, 10,000 because now with computational ease it is not a difficult process for us. Uh, it could be used for any statistical measure, like I say, for mean, for medium, for variance, and correlation also. So it is very helpful and most easiest technique exists in statistics. Okay, very simple example. I belong to Rajasthan, so I would give example of the capital of Rajasthan. Suppose I want to go, I want to buy a house in Jaipur, and I just want to know simple what is the average price of the house in Jaipur. I go to ten distinct uh, areas of the Jaipur and find this is the prices: ten million dollar, fifteen million dollar. In such way, in ten areas, I find a vector of prices, and I say the average price is. I say what is average here? Seventeen point four. And the average price I say 17.4 and what could be the chances of the standard error as per CLT I am saying Sigma Y and root N that is nothing but 1.2 at 4 but it is as per assumption that sample means are following normal distribution but suppose I say um, but the uh, this assumption is based on your sample size N that is 10 only that is not sufficient enough as per the literature because at least 30 is a threshold in that situation we could use bootstrap errors okay now come to bootstrap the simple technique to use this is use R friends it's very easy you can also use Excel but R is faster faster hundred times faster than Excel in that case because it is very fast it is meant to that purpose only okay suppose simple example I'm uh, what I said I'm having a vector of 10 prices this is my vector so I'm generating the same vector in R okay mm -hmm. okay this is my vector R first let me clear all the things this is my practice and uh, remove all the data set I have here already okay this is my price vector from the Excel itself now I have generated 10 prices this is my actual sample I have chosen to find the average value in Jaipur and then I want to know what is the mean is standard error so mean is 17.4 I have already shown here and what is standard error 1.28 that I have shown here okay now we uh, suppose I say I need to take 100 resamples what I'll do I will take 100 samples with replacement friend for bootstrap we follow with uh, replacement uh, of same size earlier we had 10 houses again we are having same sample size that is 10 n is 10 and k is 100 here in this case uh, i will take the sample of 10 for 100 times so i am just setting the c to 10165 this is not a specific number you could put any arbitrary number 110 whatever comes to your mind and because you can replicate the same results I am having here 
So I am just setting the seed 1064 10165 and I am using the replicate function which says replicate 100 times find the mean of the sample x this is this line is I am taking a resample from vector x uh, of no, of size 10 and replace I say yes true replace it and suppose for example I want to say what is this doing if I take sample from this this okay run oh, it's not going to say if I say sample x true okay good why is not coming it might be some problem there okay now it's come maybe what was wrong there so when I take the resample it could replace I can say here 15 is coming for 15 again 15 so with replacement is coming a sample I want to find the mean of this so what I'm putting here just take the mean of this vector the next vector in the same way you replicate this process 100 times so it will make a vector of 100 uh, sample means so in a vector a I will find 100 sample means okay friends so I am doing 100 sample means and there is me and mean of the means and the standard deviations okay now I have found my mean 17 that I have already shown here 17.53 and standard deviation 1.17 that I have shown here up with I want to see is it normal or not so I can do this is histogram of way here it is looking normal but not exactly so I need to just resize my sampling uh, resampling or I can do the exercise for 10,000 samples similarly similar exercise I will do this for 10,000 times and I will find 17.40 I have shown here and uh, 1.23 I have shown here uh, friends now if I just plot the histogram of this now it looks like normal it's completely normal almost normal you can say here so this is the way bootstrap can be used we can take so here we can take 10,000 one like whatever comes to your mind because it's very easy now you just need to change the zero only it was one double zero now it's one quadruple zero uh, in this way so friends I think this video was very helpful for us but just take away from the lectures I can say what are the benefits okay first of all what is bootstrap bootstrap uh, I say bootstrap is uh, is a resampling technique with the existing sample you are already having with replacement uh, why we use it because a sample is very small we cannot invoke CLT second how you are just resampling k times with n observations when to use when sample size is small and major advantage is when we are having less sample size a small sample size and we don't need to uh, base our results upon normality assumption in that case bootstrap would be very helpful and it's a very simple technique thanks a lot friends for watching keep watching